Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be creating JSON recipes, so custom crafting recipes using the JSON interface like we use for models and block states and all that. So let's get started. You won't have these four things here, the planks, log, leaves and sapling, unless you've gone and converted the code yourselves. There will be an update tutorial for these coming out in a few days, but I'm just going to have them here so I can explain how to use data for recipes and once we, you create these you can come back and create JSON recipes for them. So for now we're going to go into assets.tm and put dot recipes and then you want to create a new untitled text file. Open quote bracket, put down down and then close it. Always make sure whenever you open one to close it straight away. Now you're going to want quote, type, close quote, colon, then space, quote, Minecraft, colon, crafting, shape. Now you want to save this, tutorial mod, source, main, resources, assets, TM, and recipes. You can either just call it whatever you're crafting, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it exactly the same format, but with recipes you don't actually have to specify any name, so you can call it whatever you want. So if you have two recipes for the same item, then you can just put the underscore one and underscore two. Firstly, so I'm just going to creating my ingot. So I'm going to put ingot copper dot json as I'm going to keep the same format. What you want to do here, if I close this and open it again, I have formatting here, but you won't have this unless you've followed some of my comments. So you want to go to help and click Eclipse Marketplace. This is extensions for Eclipse that people have made to help you while you're coding. Type in JSON, click enter, and install JSON Tools 1.1, which is what I use. This will have syntax highlighting now for your JSON to make sure you don't get any of your JSON syntax wrong. As it never it doesn't give errors unless you have a thing installed. So you can see here we have type and then whatever that type is in different colours. And if you put a comma here and save, as you can see it gives an error as it's the wrong syntax and that's the JSON editor doing that for me. Put a comma after this, then down to, like we'll give an error for now, open quotes, pattern, then a colon, then right angle bracket, down down right angle bracket close, and then inside of here click tab and then quotes comma quotes comma quote like that then you can have up to three things in here so this is going to be my ingot copper how do we craft the ingot copper there's only one way of crafting it there's also a smelting recipe but we're gonna there's only one way of crafting it which is just putting the block in there so I'm gonna put B what does it you can either do this where B space 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 as we did last time, or since it's just one item that goes in can go in any place, we just remove everything and just have B. What this will do is allow the block to be placed anywhere in the grid, and it can, and then it will create the ingot. Say you wanted to create an ingot out of nine ores. You could just do or 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 say you want to make it out of three ors that had to be in a row like this. You could just put it as a row like that, meaning it could be three ors on the top row, the middle row, or the bottom row. Or you wanted it to be in columns, you could have it to be like that, where it could go in the left column, the middle column, or the right column. So this allows you to be a lot more creative with your crafting recipes to allow them to be placed in lots of different ways but I'm making it my thing be crafted with just the blocks so I'm going to have it like this put a comma after the right angle bracket now two quotes key colon then open curly brackets and then close them straight away then the key that's going to be referred to B is the letter that I'm referring to so what B means put a colon then open quote, then open curly brackets, and B, put item, 
even if it's a block, still put item, colon, then your mod ID, or Minecraft, if it's, if it's referring to something from Minecraft. So TM, and then block, copper. So that refers to TM block copper. Say we had another thing in here, like I, or A. We put a comma, then enter, down. Then we we put another letter. So what A refers to, colon again, open these again. Then let's say that refers to Minecraft Apple. And just like that, we've added a second letter. But I'm going to remove that from this crafting recipe. And I want to make sure that the last key you're referring to doesn't have a comma. Then put a comma after this second curly bracket to refer to the end of the key statement. And then this is result, close quotations, colon, open curly brackets, then item, colon, open quotes again, tm, ingot, copper, then we want count, colon, and then not in quotes, nine. So we want nine ingot coppers. You can, you don't have to have this count if you only want to make one of them. You just remove the count function here. So it's just your item. But I'm gonna leave it within the count nine. If we boot into the game, no matter what it's called, it doesn't matter. We should find that it makes nine of them. Place our crafting recipe down, crafting table down, put our block in. No matter where we place it, it creates nine copper ingots. It works in every slot. The thing is with shapeless recipes, the crafting shaped works with shapeless recipes as well. So it's better just to stick with crafting shaped all the times, all the time, as crafting shapeless is, requires a bit different context. It's a bit easier to just use crafting shaped. Now we're going to be creating something different. So I'm going to copy and paste this and call it planks underscore copper. How do we make planks? We make it using a log. So for L, then L is going to be TM log. And to refer to the specific variant of log that I use, put comma, data, colon, and then the, the variant ID. So zero for copper or one for aluminium. So I'm going to put data zero, and then it's going to make TM planks a count of four, put a comma after that, and then data of zero. Another thing we're going to add is also above here. We're going to have group colon TM planks and put a comma after that. So this has added to the group's TM plank. So we want to use log with the variant zero. The variant zero of our log is copper to make four of variant zero of our planks, which is also copper. For running the game, we get our log here, place it in our crafting table. It makes four of our planks. Placing it anywhere, we'll do create the same thing and we create four planks. If you have any other more complicated requests for these recipes, please leave, a please leave a comment down below in the description. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos in the future. We'll be going to more complicated things, including the furnace, biomes, dimensions, and all that. So keep around for that. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.